What is going on, my YouTube family? Welcome back. That wood guy. Here we are. We're back at it, my friends. I haven't bailed on you. I've had so much going on this past few weeks. I'm sorry I haven't posted in a while. Keep you guys updated here. I have a super special day here coming out. Got a special friend coming out to visit. Somebody that's been shouted out in my previous video. You're about to see here shortly. I'm really excited to share it here with you, my friends. And I'm excited to be back on here posting some videos for you guys. Ta-da! And it's only been the beginning from there. Now, I know you guys are going to nail me down on that white 7.3. I know it. I know it. <laughs> that is in the works. I've been just busy, busy burning the candle on both ends. I have literally over 100 face cords sold on a list. I have been plugging away, doing the best I can. Behind me right now, I filled up the trailer with some processed pine for Mama Grizz in the camp store. The camp store has been draining us every single weekend as usual, like in the previous videos. So I ran some material quick through the processor, make it smaller, and for now, I'm just gonna dump it next to the splitter in case if any of the pieces are too big, Mama Grizz can crack them down and we can get to bundling. I am just excited, my friends. I have so much going on. It's just New customers have been joining that wood guy wagon. Glad to keep everybody warm this winter. Let's keep it going, my friends. I hope everybody's been doing great. But like I was saying, I have a special visitor coming out today. I'm really excited to share it. I'm going to set up the processor here with some logs and kind of get him involved into one of my orders that I have to do. So he's gonna be in the video. Also and share youth inspiration into the firewood business. It all starts with the manual splitters, my friends. All right, let's not forget that before we come over to that wood guy's lot and start looking at all the bells and whistles and glamorous, glorious toys. We don't forget about the manual labor that got us to where we were. So I appreciate each and every one of you and I wouldn't be here in my YouTube if it wasn't for each and every one of you. So thank you guys so much. So it's been just absolutely unbelievable. Going through a log load a week and it's barely getting me through. I have a bunch of jobs lined up, getting back out in the woods. I've had to kind of plan out my deliveries accordingly to jump to weekends being deliveries and during the week I need to get out in the woods. So doing the best I can. It's been a good busy. So here I go my friends and I'm doing what I do best. And that is sharing my journey with each and every one of you, inspiring any one of you. You're gonna be the star of the day today, my friend. <laughs> this is my sidekick, Clarence, my friends. If you guys remember in my previous videos, I did a shout out for him. I'm lucky to have him come out today. He's gonna join me out in the wood lot and we're gonna do some wood processing. What do you think of that, Clarence? Love it. <laughs> All right, my friends, this is a special day today. We have, we have generations standing in front of us. That's my grandpa. We have Clarence, that's my aunt. Obviously, Mama and Papa Grizz. <laughs> you look official, bud. <laughs> look at that. Oh, wow, my Clarence, my camera's taking over. It thinks it's that. You're that wood guy now. <laughs> Very special day out here. Gathering of my family, coming out to that wood lot. I hope you guys can be with your family at times, even during the busyness and heckness of life. And I've had to slow myself down and make sure I make time for that as well. So make sure you guys get out there and if even if it's just a phone call or a text, say hello to the fam. Mama Grizz is cracking the whip on us already here. That's right. <laughs> the second one we've done. Greggy did the first one. It was so cute. It was just like, Greg. I'm not for free. I don't know what you're talking about. That's it. What do you think of Big Bob? <laughs> That is a smile you can't wipe off with steel wool. <laughs> That's what it's all about. All right, we got ourselves a deck full of material. We got a happy, learning, young wood lad right here. This is going to be that wood guy for now, ladies and gentlemen, all right? 
This is the true host of the show. <laughs> I don't let anything discourage you ever. Honestly, that's, that goes beyond the firewood world. That's in life with anything, all right? You can do anything you want. And you got me and you got almost 2,500 people supporting you, shouting that same thing out to you. So, guys, this one again, shout out to Clarence again, that wood guy here. All right. And all right, we're going to fire up the processor here. We have a deck full of beautiful, beautiful pole ash that Mr. Clarence is going to run the processor on and show you guys how it's done. You got it, switch on. I'm gonna turn the choke on, and when it fires, I'll turn it to run. You got it, man. The switch is on the other side. Just flick it on. You got it, bud. That's it. Let's go process. <laughs> Beautiful. So I'll let you, you got it, yup. Turn the conveyor on, all the way, yup. You let off with that, it's gonna stop the saw. And then you wanna push this back up and retract it always. Go ahead and move the log forward and see if we can cut another piece, okay? Yup, you got it. seeing my family. I love seeing everybody out here. This is great. Well, it didn't take him long, and this boy is running the dyno. Look at that. Yeah, beautiful pile of wood started. He's got a beautiful hand control, nice and slow and steady, and he's paying attention to a lot. I watched a piece flip back on there, and he knew enough to stop the splitter before the piece got caught somewhere where the splitter could, you know, damage something. That is the size of a very, very smart operator. Hats off to Dad. This boy's been running equipment, you can tell. <laughs> nice job, buddy. Doing a beautiful job. Faith out here to make sure that I am training him okay. Let's uh, 
kill the switch to the conveyor and then the generator. You got it, buddy. <laughs> you are official. Look at that pile of wood in this trailer. Look at the pile of wood you did already. Wow. You know how much, I mean, by doing that by hand, how much sweat and grind that would be, huh? And it blow these sides up so they can load more energy. Yes, yup. I used I, to be able to. I, I was thinking about that when you were getting the box, so I was like, hmm, he must have built these up so they can load more in. Yes, I, yep, just for the split wood. I have to take them off if I load logs. Um, and that's why I built them removable. Oh. oh, so they just like... Hello. Oh, hello, my hello. YouTube family. This is a very important section of my family here. <laughs> Everybody behind me, Lizzie, Clarence, and my Aunt Mary Joan, shout out to all of them, and thank you all for coming out to that Wood Guy lot. I love you all so very much, and I hope you guys come out and visit again. We will. We will. We <laughs> will. All right. I'll tell them. I love it. Load them up. Load them up. I love you guys. Bye, Grandma. Thank you so much. <laughs> Bye, Lizzie. Bye. Bye, buddy. Bye, Clarence. See you guys later. You don't need them. What a beautiful day that was. And even more beautiful evening out here at that wood guy lot. And another thankful day to be alive. Thankful day to share my journey with firewood, with youth inspiration, and any of you young guys watching this, whacking axes, all my friends out there, Sisters Firewoods, if you're watching that, I know it's not easy, you know, just to be able to go to your neighbors and swing down the road and go to some like, you know, someone like that wood guy and, you know, maybe be re-inspired into the firewood world, but to keep all of you inspired, and that goes with anybody who's in their own firewood journey. I was super proud to be able to show around and share with my family and share with Clarence as well, who is now a firewooder. He's looking like he's going to be an official firewooder. <laughs> Got ourselves a That Wood Guy Apprentice. Really, really great day. I can't ask for a better way to end my August. Today is the 31st, and that is the end of August officially. Tomorrow is September. We are approaching fall the real, real firewood weather. So things are getting busy. It's just things have already been busy, I should say, unbelievably, my friends. And things are about to get even more busy. So I got a lot coming to the channel, a lot to share with you guys, a lot of new content and a lot of new ideas from that wood guy and a few things to reinitiate and show some new interest in the firewood world that maybe I can share to each and every one of you guys that are doing your own channels out there and just helping each other out in general. But that's going to do it for this one, my friends. I hope you guys enjoyed. Woodhounds, family, neighbors, aunts, uncles, everybody in between dogs and cats and squirrels. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that and a lot more coming. Thanks for your patience, my friends. I know I had to step out for a little bit there. I get busy, but that wood guy's here, always making sawdust. As you can see behind me, the pile is getting huge, my friends. I don't know if Big Bob's going to be able to smash through that. It is getting a little too large for comfort. <laughs> but it's going to do it, my friends. Be good, be kind, help each other out, stick together, and be good to each other. Be nice, like I always say. We'll catch you guys on the next one. See you, everybody. Beautiful fire going. Look at that. Beautiful fire. Shutting things down for the night. That wood guy lot. <laughs>